Welcome to Indian Movie Recap. Today we are going to see a 2020 Malayalam crime thriller film named Anjam Pathira. Anwar Hussain is a psychologist who works as a consulting criminologist in Kochi City Police on the special recommendation of his friend ACP Anil Madhavan. One night, DYSP Abraham Koshi is abducted and his corpse is left in a gypsum field with eyes and heart eviscerated. The investigation is headed by DCP Catherine. The autopsy report shows zolpidem presence in the body, but no signs of coercion. In a few days, a second police officer goes missing. His body is found in the backyard of the police station, along with a lady justice figurine. Anwar finds a similar artifact in the previous crime scene from the forensic photos. Autopsy results are the same as previous. The station CCTV footage has tampered, indicating the killer is also a security hacker. Anwar employs hacker Andrew for cyber investigation. Catherine implements a plan to lure the killer in which two officers should pair and patrol the nights in 100 meter distance. During duty, Catherine's driver Paulson is kidnapped. His scooter's camera footage shows a wolf-masked man and another man's voice, indicating they work as a team. Paulson's body is delivered to Anwar's house in a refrigerator box. The fingerprint of a cocaine dealer, Shamir, is found. They track him to a cottage where they find his mummified corpse. It was a decoy. Anwar accidentally discovers a signature imprinted on the figurine, which turns out to be that of its sculptor, Sudhakar Devlokam. On questioning, Sudhakar explains that he made five such figurines for two men who blinded him after he delivered it. From that, Anwar deduces there will be two more murders. On another day, CI Sharath Chandran is abducted after a struggle at his home, where in addition to the figurine, they also find a fidget spinner. His body is dropped in a Kochi metro train by a woman. With that, Catherine is replaced with ACP Prakash Sitaram. Sharath Chandran had regularly taken a prescription drug named Tenomin. Anwar theorizes that the killers inject hypnotic drug Zolpidem in victims' body somehow before kidnapping and hypnotize them for taking away. Tenomin is a counter drug against Zolpidem, so Sharath Chandran's hypnosis was unsuccessful, hence the struggle. Anwar recalls seeing a photo of a similar spinner in the police file for a homicidal psychopath and hacker named Simon. While Simon is recorded dead during an explosion in prison, Anwar is not convinced. Andrew recognizes Simon as the one who crossed dressed as the woman on the train. Anwar reports his findings but is informed that Simon and his crime partner Arvindan's bodies were found that morning with a suicide note confessing to the murders left along with the last figurine. Anwar is unconvinced and believes it is a decoy to stop the investigation. Anwar is called by Sudhakar after a man comes to his workshop for a sixth figurine. He has made a facial composite. Anwar identifies him as psychologist Dr. Benjamin Lewis since he always recommends his psychology books for referring when he goes to be a guest lecturer to psychology colleges. From Benjamin's foster parent Sudhavan, Anwar learns that when Benjamin was a teenager, His sister Rebecca was impregnated by a priest named Bennett Franco. When their father Louis reported the crime, Anil and Sharath Chandran framed him for assaulting his daughter after taking a bribe from father Bennett. Rebecca was placed in a distant convent and their father committed suicide in prison. Later, Benjamin went to the United States for higher studies and came back. Anwar deduces that the first 3 murders were random and the actual targets are Sharath Chandran and Anil. He goes to warn Anil but finds only his deserted car. From a nearby quadcopter, Anwar finds footage of Benjamin's van and retraces it to a pig farm. Anwar and two officers intercepts Benjamin before he can kill Anil. Benjamin knocks them down and chokes Anwar. but is saved by Catherine and Benjamin is arrested on questioning Benjamin does not disclose his motive 
Anwar deduces that the burned corpse misidentified in prison as Simons was actually Bennett's. While in transit for presenting him in court, his escort officers kill Benjamin in a fake encounter. At the same time, a woman visits Anil at his apartment. Anwar enters when she leaves and finds Anil dead. Through the window, Anwar calls out the name Rebecca. To which she turns back and looks at him. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe for more videos.